Hi, your name is? Candace Wilson. And you do uh, a healing chakra painting. Tell me about that. Well, the chakras are based on the ancient uh, Indian healing system where chakras are a rotating wheel of light that correspond to various parts of the body. And every chakra has a color associated with it, which is based on, on physics, on wavelength. So I actually bring uh, sand and crushed seashells home from expeditions that I do around the world. And I put them in something called a zero point generator, which is made out of copper and formulated in sacred geometrical shapes. And these organic materials will always hold this state of perfect balance, which is what zero point energy is. And I mix that into my oil paints, which I use. And once the paintings are done, I then in, uh, channel gemstones, which I cleanse, I program by doing a meditation with them, and then I awaken them by using uh, Tibetan chimes and the vibrate the vibration of the uh, of the chimes awakens the gemstones. So once they're in the paintings, they are constantly emitting a healing energy. And you know these paintings are more about being near them rather than actually looking at them. Of course, if you meditate on them, it's great. But unlike traditional art, which I also do. Uh, it's not so much about looking as just even being near them. You're getting zapped constantly. Really? So I have done uh, I've done several big full full chakra collections, which are eight in a series for various hospitals uh, around. Well, I have two in Toronto, uh, Peterborough Hospital, St. Michael's Hospital, and Bridgepoint Hospital here in Toronto. And uh, the feedback from the hospitals has been extraordinary. I've had doctors come and tell me that when they're so exhausted and they can't get through their day, they go and hang out with the collections for about 40 minutes, and then they can absolutely take on the world for another, you know, full day. They're just charged. These are the doctors. These are the doctors. They chill out in a room that has your painting. Yeah. Uh, not even in a room, they're hallways. And they hang out with the paintings. In fact, in one hospital, they said, we want, we want to put a sign, stop loitering, go back to work, because everyone's hanging out. Wow. And one patient sent me a testimonial swearing on a Bible they saved his life. He could see them from his room. And he didn't really know what they were, but he could meditate on them from his room and look at them. And they came to him one night and said, you need to be reoperated tomorrow, sort of a critical care situation. And he said, unplug the morphine, wheel this bed out so I can see what I've been looking at. And in the hospitals, each, ho each painting has a little uh, plaque with the metaphysics of what the gemstones and colors are doing. And when this man read the metaphysics for each painting, he just was weeping. He said, this is what these paintings have been causing me to do on my own. And he swore they saved his life, which was pretty, a pretty powerful testimonial. Now, yesterday I had a woman come, a professor from Ryerson, who totally got the concept. And she said, you know, we need these in the English department at Ryerson University. I'm going to do my utmost to make this happen. She said, I can just see the possibilities for communication, for everybody opening up and, and you know, how the meetings would go more smoothly and so on and so forth. So I was, it was great. It was nice to see somebody that understood the concept so easily. Let's talk about the concept. How long does it take you to make one of these circles, for example? They don't take long, but it's a lot of crap. I meditate, I... A day? A few hours? Oh, no. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. Quicker. Okay, so... I get in the flow. So, I mean, it doesn't take long to paint. A small thing like that will take 10 or 15 minutes. Maybe. And then? And then the gemstones, I go into meditation. The gemstones, I leave for a day in the sunlight. Okay. And then, you know, you cleanse them, waken them all. That's a quick 15-minute sort of process. And then I can glue them on. So it's, they are fairly quick, but it's a lot of pre-prep in my life, if you want. My, my life has been the, the prep. So how did you get into this in the first place? I, uh, I follow an Indian guru, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, and when I started to follow Guruji, my work changed completely. So these paintings are totally guided by him. I have a very strong connection, he speaks to me all the time, do this, do that, I argue with him in the other, the other atmospheres, but... And how long have you been doing this particular thing? Um, 
these chakra paintings I've been doing for about 12 years. Well, where are you located? I'm here in Toronto. I have a studio in uh, uh, Dan Lansdowne and DuPont. So you can probably customize things for different oh, companies, absolutely. different situations. Absolutely. With hidden messages uh, on a vibrational level, and you won't even know because you're walking by, but you might be right. attracted and, to and it. Right, and people are buying the smaller, you know, the smaller chakras for their homes, their offices, their personal, you know, health issues, emotional issues. So now, do they have to be in circles, or can you take the same? No, concept can, and put it in yeah. any kind of yeah, portrait no, or anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, the hospitals uh, are always rectangular so far. That's just been the shape of where they've been. They've been custom designed for the space. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the triangles I was trying to. Uh, it's been proven that pyramidal shape changes influences the brain cells. It actually impacts the brain cells. And since we're in 2D, I couldn't do pyramids, so triangle was the closest closest thing. So I just decided that was a nice shift. Well. Wow. So so it's a decorative piece as well. I've, I've sold one or two where people just love it as a decoration. It can hang either way. Uh, so it's great. So zapping them as well being is decorative. So I can understand now why you're exhibiting at the Total Health Show. Right. Because you want to give them health from a total perspective. Exactly. That was my. It's the first time I've tried this. Usually I'm doing big art shows. Uh, with my abstract paintings, and I decided to try for the healing paintings. I thought, oh, gee, this might be a good fit. Wow. Okay, so more information. Your website is? Uh, CandiceWilsonArtStudio.com. Great. Thank you so much. Pleasure.